this is Sandra. I'm here again today with another recipe for you. And this recipe is my version of orange chicken. Yes, I said orange chicken. We're going to the oriental side and do some orange chicken. And if I have enough room, I do some uh, Chinese uh, plain simple rice. But what we're going to get started, and we're going to start right here. This right here is the pan that we're going to put the uh, chicken in. This is the pan we're going to fry it in some peanut oil. So we're going to have the chicken. we got a pound of chicken, chunks of chicken, chicken breast, chunks of that. And then we have here is a half a cup of flour and a half a cup of plain flour. I mean half a cup of plain flour and a half a cup of cornstarch, excuse me. We're going to blend all this in like this. This is a great dish. I think you would love it. It's easy. It's simple. And I think it would be a difference in your house if you can make this on chicken instead of uh, buying on chicken. Okay, then you're going to put in here, you're going to put one white egg yolk like that and you're gonna blend it together just like that you're gonna blend it like this and we're gonna try to fry it blend the cornstarch and the egg yolk together that's what we're gonna do here blend it real good like that make sure that it's all blended then we're gonna add it to the frying pan it's cornstarch and flour and a white egg yolk. This is going to fry up real good and crispy. I love Chinese food. I love orange chicken and I love uh, I did a recipe with this um, sweet and sour chicken and that turned out real good. A lot of people like that recipe. So I'm pretty sure you like this recipe also. I'm going to let that fry. Move this off the side. Wash my hands. Watch that fry for me. Make sure it don't burn. Okay. Always wash your hands when you deal with chicken. Because chicken is a product that needs your hands washed. Okay. Now we're going to next need. We're going to need one fourth cup of orange juice. We're going to need a zest of an orange, zest of an orange. We're going to need some white distilled vinegar. We're going to need a half a cup of that. We're going to need four tablespoons of corn, I mean light corn syrup. We're going to need cappuccino. Yes, indeed. We're going to need cappuccino. We're going to need garlic. We're going to need ginger. We're going to need some white rice vinegar. And that's going to be one fourth cup of that. And we're going to need one fourth cup of soy sauce. And we're going to need about two teaspoons of sesame seed oil. And we're going to need black pepper. And we're going to need some salt. So we got all the ingredients. We're going to need some onion. Onion too, you know I add that onion. Okay, while that's browning, look at that, it's doing real good. So while that's doing that, we're gonna try to make sure it don't burn, make sure that it's just right. Now what we can do now is add some black pepper while it's frying like that. Black pepper, as much as you want. Like I said, a recipe is what you add to it. I'm going to put some salt, salt to your taste, and pepper to your taste. Okay. And it's browning. Turn it over a little bit. Like that. Oh, that smells good. Okay, we'll let that brown. I'm just doing this getting a little crust on it. 
I like frying, but I try to fry with the best. The peanut oil is a great oil to fry in. Peanut oil is. So I'm going to fry that. Turn it over. Golden brown. Look at that. It's looking good, isn't it? Okay. Let that fry for a minute. We're going to have to sit here and let it get brown because we want it to be brown and beautiful when we uh, put the sauce on it. I appreciate y'all coming to my channel and I love my subscribers. My subscribers are so wonderful. They give me some wonderful comments and I try to uh, answer each comment but it's so hard sometimes when you have so many tasks to do. So I want to tell you right now, I thank you so very much for coming to my site. And I thank you so very much for giving me those beautiful comments. And plus, your channels are so, so magnificent. You have some beautiful setups, beautiful music. You have everything going for you. I just really hope and pray that God could uh, make you possible so you could be successful and doing your videos. I really enjoy them. If I don't get a chance to set something that day that you download a video, I will set something within a day or two. I just really enjoy it. Sometimes I stay up to 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning answering uh, some comments and try to get my videos right. Okay, this is getting brown. Pretty good. So we're going to let it sit there for a minute or two. And then we're going to do this sauce. Now, I love to do a lot of recipes. I like to do Oriental recipes, Chinese recipes, but this is Oriental. I love Mexican recipes. I do a lot of Mexican dish. I like Italian. I love to do a lot of Italian. I do a little Russian. I do a lot of dishes. So when you learn how to cook, you can uh, know how to do other tasks also. Okay, this is getting brown. It's not going to be perfect brown because we're trying to rush it. And it's getting there though. It's getting there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add some onions. I'm going to add the onions with this mix. Because I want the onions to be a little bit darker when we do the um, sauce. So we're going to move this over so look, it's not cooking it quick. So we're going to add the onions in there like that. This is about one fourth cup of onions in here in this brew like that. We'll get them kind of sauteed in here so they can be kind of done. I'm going to do the sauce. We're going to take the sauce long to get done. And a lot of people say, how can you do different recipes? When you put your mind to it, you can do anything you put your mind to it. That's what I say. Anything you can put your mind to it, you can do it. I'm going to take some of these out of here. This one is ready. I like to pre-cook this, but I want to show you how to do some of the things without pre-cooking all the time. I'm going to put this over there. This is a lovely dish. Very good. Take some out like this is ready. Yeah, there you go. And if you have any recipes that you'd like for me to cook for you, just request it in the comment. Because I have some requests to do. And um, one of my subscribers that I love so dear want me to make a chest pie for. And I will do it. When I get a chance to do it, I will do it. Okay, now, oh, that smells so good with those onions. The onions are just really doing it. Look at that. I know once I get some of this out of here, the onions will start acting up. <laughs> Smelling so good. But I want to do the onions a little bit because I want them to get kind of cooked in the sauce for the sauce to get done so quickly. What we're going to do now is make a little serving out of um, some cornstarch. Because we're going to need that when we um, get the thickening through the uh, sauce. So I'm going to put a little water and make a little serving. Like this. 
Make it like that. And we'll do that when we need it to get the thickening of the orange chicken. Okay. This to the side. And that's drying up now. Look at that. Sometimes you overload your pan. Learn about mistakes. Don't overload your pan like I just did. This is my favorite pan. I love this pan. Had it for so long and I just really like it. How beautiful that is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to pour some of this oil, this peanut oil out. Pour some of it out. Onions are still in there. Oh, the onions smell so good and delicious. Okay, we're gonna Now, what we're gonna do now, let's get around a little bit. Put the chicken back in. Put the chicken back in like that. You're gonna love this recipe. Now the onions are, have a chance to cook, so it won't be raw in this dish. That's why I add them to the uh, pan. What we're gonna do next is add the garlic. I mean the ginger, excuse me. We're gonna add the ginger. We're gonna put about a teaspoon of ginger, powdered ginger, to this dish. Just like this, the powdered ginger. There you go. Then, a cappuccino. Now, you can use uh, any peppers you want, but I want cappuccino in mine. And then we're going to add the garlic. Add the garlic the same spoon. It's not going to hurt anything. Get my garlic. Oh, this smells so wonderful now. Onion and the garlic. Oh my goodness. It smells so oriental in here. Okay, and what we're going to do now, we're going to add a half a cup of vinegar. One fourth cup of orange juice. Wow, look at that. That smells so, so, so good. We're going to add the rice vinegar. One fourth cup of rice vinegar. Move all this out the way. And it start cooking. And then we're going to use one fourth cup of sour sauce, too. Put it in there like that. The sour sauce, just sour sauce, is just so delicious. So we're going to make sure it's one fourth of sour sauce. Like that. I'm gonna put the top back on this so it won't waste. Stop stirring it like that. Wow, look at that. It's gonna be so good. It smells so good too. Let it come up and then we're gonna put we're gonna put the zest of, on, zest of orange in there. Zest of orange. The whole zest of orange. And I like that. Then we're going to put two tablespoons of corn syrup. It's one, two, three, four. And I like that. Ooh, it smells so, so good. Ooh, it smells so good. Let it cook down. Like that. Smelling good up in the house. I want to think it's oriental up in here. It smells so good. See that? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Let that cook a little bit longer. And we're going to taste it. See what it tastes like. I need anything. Ooh. 
Oh, that is so good. Oh, look at that. That vinegar makes it taste so good. We'll let it cook down. Like that. Get it out the way. Oh, that tastes so good and smells so wonderful. So good. Then we're gonna put this little slurvy in there, the slurvy, to make it thick. Just give it a time. Oh, this tastes so good. I'm gonna love this dish. So we get thick like that. Wow, it tastes so good. Smell delicious. That right there, that's how thick that gets. Then we're gonna put two teaspoons of sesame seed oil. Let's see, let that get open. Okay, let's see, I can get that open just one second. I'm gonna get my trustworthy knife. Open it. We already have it open. Hey, okay. be careful with sesame seed oil because it'll take over the flavor. So that's one and two. Set it all up like that. Wow, look at that. Isn't that delicious? Ooh, is it good? Mmm, it smells so wonderful in here. It smells so wonderful. Okay. Okay, look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, this is ready. So we're gonna do the rice in another video. Oh. Oh, that is so good. And on chicken is delicious. Woo! So what we're gonna do is uh come back <clears throat> with another video. I'm doing the rice and this is Sandra I want to say happy eating and this is Sandra back with part two of the orange chicken the orange chicken is delicious and we're gonna do a stir-fried rice a Chinese stir-fried rice so what we're gonna do is put onions in the hot pan like that make sure that the pan is hot Saute the onions this. Saute them on a hot, high heat. Like that. And then we're going to add some garlic. Now a lot of people put whatever they want in their Chinese rice. Mine's is simple too, but I like to add other things in mine. So I'm going to add garlic. Just a taste of garlic in there. Come back up to a frying ball. Oh, that smells so good. I tell you, when onions get together with garlic, they think they're married. But, I tell you what also. We're going to put some ginger. Powdered ginger. And I like that. And make sure your rice is cold when you do this. Make sure your rice is cold because if it's hot or even warm, it's going to, um, what you call, clump up and get sticky. I'm going to let this come back to a ball. I mean, not a ball, but a frying. Can I add peppuccino to mine? I'm sorry, but I do. I like that peppuccino taste, just a little. And I'm pretty sure uh, Chinese people like it, too. We'll put some black pepper. Black pepper in there. Oh, it smells so heavily. Put some salt. I like to use a salt in a box like this because they have control. Okay. And then we're going to stir this around. Oh, that smells so heavily. So wonderful. Look at that. Oh, I love onions and I love garlic together. Oh, and the ginger makes it smell so good, too. Now, this is my 
version of Chinese rice. So hopefully y'all can get this recipe and try it. Now I do use green onions, but I don't have any more green onions. So I have to use regular yellow onions, but they're just the same. They're just that green onions are more prettier because they have a green little scallion on it. But these will do just fine. We can use some parsley flakes to take up for that. Let's see, we'll get some parsley flakes and add to the mix. How about that? Then we have some green. Like I said, a recipe is what you want in your recipe. That's what the recipe is all about. What you want in your recipe. Okay, well, let's get up to heat again. Look at how beautiful that is. That is so beautiful. Look at that. This is delicious. Yes, it is. The onions getting calm out. And everything's smelling good. The onions are coming. Look at that. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. Let it do it like that. Now, I'm going to use some fish oil. But I'm going to do the fish oil when I do the sesame seed oil and when I do the uh, soy sauce. 